dear students of 11th class you are most welcome to the online class conducted by raspberry government college today i will take uh, your class on english this is my first class with you i will discuss on a very important issue people or institution making history uh unit 1 and i will discuss the unforgettable history what is our unforgettable history our unforgettable history is the history of our independence we all know that bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman announced the declaration of our war of independence on 7th march 1971 at race course field i mean the romana park and the speech given by bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman inspired the people inspired the people uh, to gain our independence it's very important in our bengali life and our power of independence look at the photograph of bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman giving the 7th march 1971 history speech ask and answer the question in pairs please what do you know about bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman why is he giving the speech what was the time what is the significance of the speech have you ever heard the speech by our dear students i am sarwar murshid khan assistant professor english rajbir government college uh, like you i was a student of this uh, college in 1988 1989 session i passed acsc from this college in 1999 dear students how do you know about bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman is the undisputed leader unparalleled leader of bangladesh he is the greatest bengali among the world he is the pioneer of democracy uh, bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman declared the war of independence at a uh, race course field on 7th march 1971 in front of 2 million people 2 million people bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman uh declared this uh war of independence in his speech you know there are many famous speeches in the world the gettysburg address by abraham lincoln i have a dream by martha uh, arthur uh, martin luther king junior long walk to freedom by nelson mandela and the 7th march speech of bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman among these speeches the speech of bangabandhu is the greatest because other species of the world other famous species of the world are written species but this species by bangabandhu sheikh mujibur rahman is a spontaneous species instantly instantly he delivered this speech what is the significance of the speech do you know 
the speech by Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is very significant in the war of independence of Bangladesh. He was able to unite the people. He was able to unite uh, seven or fifty lakh people of Bangladesh. Uh, and we find the inspiration from this space. And the theme of this space is the independence of Bangladesh. You know, you know, Bangabandhu won the general election of Pakistan. He got 167 seats among 169 seats in East Pakistan. It was natural that Bangabandhu uh, would be the leader of Pakistan. He would be the prime minister of Pakistan. But the Pakistani government, Pakistani government was very much, was very much clever and they uh, didn't allow Bangabandhu to be the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Prime Minister of Pakistan and so Bangabandhu, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman gathered huge amount of people and he delivered his speech. Now read the speech below. Please, uh, I would like to read the speech below. My brothers, I stand before you today with a heart overflowing with grief. My brothers, I stand before you today with a heart overflowing with grief. Bhaira Amar, Bhaira Amar, my brothers. The beginning is very abrupt, is very dramatic. My brothers, I throw these two words. We find Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman as the very sympathetic people, he is very affectionate to the people of East Pakistan. I stand before you today with a heart overflowing with grief. The heart of Bangabandhu, the heart of Bangabandhu was overflowing with grief because he had to experience many better, bitter experience. You are fully aware of the event that are going on and understand their import. He is asking the people that you are uh, conscious or aware of the events that were happening at that time. We have been trying to do our best to cope with the situation. Bangabandhu uh, was trying to cope with the situation. And yet, unfortunately, the streets of Dhaka, Chittagong, Khulna, Rashai, and Rongpur are awash with the blood of our brothers. You know, then the Pakistani rulers killed many Bengali, unfortunately, in the streets of Dhaka, Chittagong, Khulna, Rashai, and Rongpur. The people of Bengal now want to be free. The people of Bengal now want to live and the people of Bengal now want their rights. Bangabandhu is delivering the speech of the heart of the people of East Pakistan. The people of East Pakistan are very much eager, was very much eager to gain independence. They have experienced bitter experience in Pakistani realm. And Bangabandhu is saying that the people of Bengal now want to be free, the people of Bengal now want to live, and the people of Bengal now want their rights. We are deprived of our rights. We have five basic rights, you know, and we were deprived of these basic rights. Bangabandhu did not tolerate this uh, deprivation. And so uh, he is saying that the people of Bengal now want to be free. The people of Bengal then wanted to be free. The people of Bengal then wanted to live peacefully. The people of Bengal then, want, then wanted their rights. 
and through the speech of bangabandhu our rights our demand our rights our demands were focused what have we done that was wrong we the bengalis were not wrong we were on right path after the elections the people of bangladesh voted as one for me for the awami league you know in the general election of pakistan bangabandhu got absolute majority after the election the people of bangladesh voted as one for me the people of bangladesh voted cast their vote uh, for bangabandhu they voted for bangabandhu they voted for bangabandhu as the leader of pakistan we are to sit in the national assembly draft a constitution for ourselves there bangabandhu wanted to sit in the national assembly he wanted to run the country he wanted to draft a constitution for the pakistan uh, you know and build our country it's all uh, it was a dream of bangabandhu to build uh, pakistan uh, the people of this land would thereby get economic political and cultural freedom i have already said that the people of bangladesh the people of uh, then east pakistan were deprived of their economic of their political of their cultural freedom but it is with regret that i have to report to you today that we have passed through 23 tragic years bengal's history of those years is full of stories of torture and inflicted on our people you know the history of bangali uh, during pakistan reign was the history of torture was the history of oppression by pakistani ruler a blood shed repeatedly 23 years of history of men and women in agony we were in agony the people of uh east pakistan our forefathers were in agony the history of bengal is the history of people who have repeatedly made their high ways crimson with their blood when we demanded our rights the pakistani shot the people of east pakistan you know about our language movement we wanted to speak in our mother language in 1952 pakistani army shot the people of bangladesh we gained our right of mother tongue and through this gain we understood that we would be free one day we would overcome one day the history of bengal is the history of a people who have repeatedly made their highways crimson with their blood who shed blood in 1952 bangabandhu is saying that bengali shed their blood in 1952 for mother tongue for language even though we were the big victors in the election of 94 we could not form a government then you know jukto front on the uh, uh, election in 1954 in 1958 ayub khan declared martial law to enslave us for the next 10 years ayub khan declared martial law in uh, 1952 to enslave the bengali to torture the bengali to oppress the bengali to deprive the bengali from their basic rights in 1966 when we launched the six point movement our boys were shot dead on 7 june bangabandhu demanded bangabandhu demanded a six point uh, movement i mean soy dafa soy dafa uh, in 1966 and for this our boys were shot dead on 7 june when after the movement of 
1969, Ayub Khan fell from power and Yahya Khan assumed the reins of government. He declared that he would give us a constitution and restore democracy. We listened to him then. A lot has happened since and elections have taken place. After Ayub Khan, uh, Yahya Khan came to power uh, in 1969, and then he declared that he would he would restore the constitution. He would revise the constitution. He would give us a constitution and restore democracy. But he did not. But but he did not act as he spoke. But the Bengali. We listen to him that Yaya Khan would give us a constitution, Yaya Khan would restore our democracy, but he did not pay heed, he did not pay any attention to us. A lot has happened since and elections have taken place. Bongo Bongo is saying that a lot has happened since and elections have taken place. By this time, a general election had taken place. And in this election, in this election, Bangabandhu, Bangabandhu's party, uh, our Milik, got 167 seats among 169 seats in East Pakistan. And as the constitution of Pakistan, Bangabandhu would be the Prime Minister of Pakistan. But the Pakistan government no more wanted Bangabandhu to be the uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan. And so they engaged themselves in conspiracy. They are in conspiracy. Bangabandhu is saying that I have met President Yaya Khan. Bangabandhu was very simple people. His thinking, his activities, thoughts, feelings, everything, everything was very simple. I have met President Yaya Khan. I have made a request to him, not only on behalf of Bengal, but also as the leader of the party, which has the majority in Pakistan. Bangabandhu was not only a leader of East Pakistan, he was the leader of majority party of Pakistan. I say to him, you must hold a session of the National Assembly on 15 January, but he did not listen to me. He listened to Mr. Bhutto in his seat. Bangabandhu saying that Yaya did not pay any attention, pay heed to his speech. Rather, he paid to the speech of uh, Mr. Bhutto, the leader of Pakistan uh, People's Party, the second uh, highest the second highest uh, seat winners of Pakistan. At first, he said that the meeting would take place in the first week of March. Mr. Bhutto promised that the meeting would take place in the first week of March. Bangal is saying, we said, fine, we will be taking our seats in the assembly then. I said, he will carry out our discussions in the assembly. I went so far as to say that if anyone came up with an offer that was right, even though we are in the majority, we would agree to that offer. Pongabandhu was, I have already said that he was very simple people. Uh, he was very simple people, his thoughts, feeling, and activities, all were, all were uh, devoted to the people of East Pakistan, I mean the people of Bangladesh. He uh, wanted to compromise. He wanted to compensate, compensate uh, the matter. But the Pakistan ruler, Mr. Bhutto, Mr. Bhutto did not pay heed. Uh, to the speech of Bangabandhu. He was in a conspiracy with Jilfikar Ali Bhutto in his state. 
I went so far as to say that if anyone came up with one an offer that was just even though we are in the majority, we would agree to that offer. Bangabandhu promised that if the speech of one person, uh, if the speech of one person was right, then he would accept this um, uh, offer, he would speak this opinion. He was the man of heart. Bangabandhu was a man of hate. And so he wanted to compensate the matter. He wanted to compensate the situation. Mr. Vituke Bhuttu came here. He carried out discussion with us. He had said that the doors of negotiation had not been shut and that there would be further negotiation. Bhuttu promised, Bhuttu came and promised Bangabandhu that uh, the, he was agree to negotiate the matters. Negotiate the matters. Um, he said that the door of negotiation had not shut and there would be further negotiation. Negotiation. I then had talks with other leaders. Bangabandhu then discussed with other leaders. I said to them, come and sit down with us. Let's create a constitution for ourselves through discussions. Bangabandhu invited them to come and sit with Bangabandhu uh, to create a constitution for the people of Pakistan through discussions. Uh, Bangabandhu wanted to create a constitution where all people will avail their opportunity, will avail their basic rights. But Mr. Bhutto declared that if West Pakistani members came here, the assembly uh, would end us as slaughterhouse. Mr. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, Mr. Zulfikar Ali Bhutto uh, spread rumor that the people uh, that if the people if the people of West Pakistan, if the members of the parliament of West Pakistan would come to East Pakistan, uh, the atmosphere uh, uh, would be very worse and the assembly would end up with a, as a slaughterhouse. It was wrong, it was a propaganda also. He claimed that whoever came here would be slaughtered. He wanted to terrify, he wanted to terrify the members of the West Pakistan by saying that, by saying that uh, who ever who came here would be slaughtered. He said that if anyone showed up here, all shops from Peshawar to Parasi would be shut down. Mr. Julpikar Ali Bhutto and uh, Mr. Yahya were the playmakers or the playmakers, they spoiled the situation. They spoiled the situation uh, by, by adopting conspiracy against Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib al I, uh, I am uh, reading, I declared that the assembly would continue to meet, but suddenly on the first march of the assembly was shut down. Mr. Yaya Khan called the session of the assembly in his capacity as the president and I declared I would be attending it. Mr. Bhutto said he would be a part of it. 35 members of the assembly came up from East West Pakistan to take part in the uh, proceedings, but it was dissolved all of a sudden. The blame was put on the people of Bengal. The finger was pointed to me. Some uh, members of the parliament came to East Pakistan to participate the session of the parliament. Uh, but uh, the, through the conspiracy of Zulfikar Ali Bhutto, all this is spoiled. All this is spoiled. Yaya yeah, Khan suddenly uh, dissolved the session. He blamed he blamed Sheikh Mujib al It was also propaganda against Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Dear students, in the history of the war of independence of Bangladesh, the history of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib is very important. It's very important. You know, 
uh, 30 October uh, 2017, UNESCO added the space uh, in the memory of the uh, World Heritage Register as a uh, documentary heritage. Is a documentary heritage. Bangabandhu delivered his speech on 7th March uh, at 2.45, from 2.45 p.m. to 3, uh, 3 p.m. Approximately, approximately his, his speech for the people of Bangladesh uh, indeed within uh, 19 minutes within 19 minutes and i have already told you that the theme of this speech is the independence of bangladesh it's very important task uh, in your textbook you know uh, in bengali history uh, in the life of our people this speech is very important this speech turn the people turn the people to the right for democracy, to the right for freedom. Bangabandhu uh, was able to unite the people of Bangladesh through this peace. We are, yeah, we became conscious of our rights. I will discuss uh, further uh, in my next class. Uh, it is very important to us and I would spend uh, three classes three classes for this speech. Thank you very much. Be safe, please. Thank you very much.